I know it's been a while. Um, I've missed you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys are missing, but I've definitely missed you guys. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Well, something has definitely changed. So because of this video, obviously, you already know that your girl is in Canada. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm actually really, really excited about this. You know, I'm excited to be beginning this new phase in my life. Yeah, so I, um, I'm i going to, like, try to, to like, make uh, more videos for you guys, keep you guys updated as everything is coming along. But this video is actually a vlog. Yeah, but... It's a sit down video and a vlog combined together. That's because I actually did not really plan to vlog from like the beginning of my um when I said planning to leave Nigeria. So that's why I had to like do a sit down video just to like make up for the parts that you're not going to see. Yeah. So I want to take you guys back to when I was leaving for the airport and then I'm going to keep narrating as it goes. I flight was for 11 p.m and i left home for the airport around three and i got to the airport about 4 p.m yeah so um got to the airport there were like lots of people in the airport like way like really really lots of people in the airport and then um when i got to the airport it was time to go for um uh check-in so basically where they're going to like weigh our baggage and you know so everybody has their um allocated kg that's allocated um weight that you can carry yeah so you have for your box and then for your hand luggage i'm going to show you guys a video of how my how big my box was and then how big my hand luggage was so your box cannot be more than 23 kg and the hand luggage cannot be more than 8 kg then you also have a carry-on bag that shouldn't be more than i think five was it five or four kg i can't really remember yeah so after the weighing uh, so if you have excess luggage, you obviously have to pay for excess luggage, but um, yeah And my bag was weighed, so it was 23 and 8 and then my carry-on bag was a little bit over 4 yeah. after that um, I went to the counter where I was giving my boarding pass So yeah, I was giving my boarding pass actually funny story, I was giving my boarding pass But it wasn't like window seat and I really wanted a window seat and then like, I kind of like said to the person there that Oh, is it Windows? No, I didn't say anything. I was like, oh, like when he gave me the body pass, I, I was like, oh, he already gave me body pass. And I saw that it wasn't Windows 6. And then he was like, what's the problem? And I didn't say anything. I was like, what's the problem? I was like, um, I actually wanted Windows 6. And he just looked at me and he was like, and then he took back my body pass and then he like made, uh, gave me Windows 6 for both flights. So I actually had a uh, connecting flight. So I had, um, the one from Nigeria to Frankfurt, Germany, and then from Frankfurt, Germany to Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, so I actually got window seats on both of them. So after getting the whole boarding pass, I still went back to like stay, to like still stay with my family and friends, my parents, my siblings and friends, you know, to say bye and just basically chill. Then we went to immigration, yeah, where, um, I had to biometrics, um, check my passport, basically check everything. And after immigration point, it was time to, you know, go inside and to start boarding. Um, also, there's a point where you have to actually declare how much your, how much cash you have with you. So if you have um, over, I think over $10,000 in cash, you have to, you know, declare it and all that. But I had just, um i didn't have up to 2k with me i think i had yeah i didn't have up to 2k with me, but i had more than one thousand dollars with me but i did not have up to two thousand dollars with me so they were like i should just go and then i went and then it was time to board also uh, before you board um they also had to weigh my checking luggage and my hand luggage you actually have to still weigh your hand uh luggage and then your checking luggage so if after they weighed it for you at the uh first part like at the main airport uh, check-in place and then you like went ahead to add more things because you feel like your luggage um your kg is actually not up to eight kg and then you think they're actually going to go onto the plane with that no so if you if your bag has already been weighed try not to add any more things to it so you don't get to start removing things inside like before you like literally board then we um boarded around uh i think it was 10 something 
10 something yeah i can't remember the time voided entered the plane got my window seat and then after a while they served food So yeah, um, then we got to Frankfurt, landed at Frankfurt at I think 6 a.m. Yeah, 6 a.m. Frankfurt is one hour ahead of Nigeria. So yeah, I think it was 5 a.m. Nigerian time, 6 a.m. Germany time. From where we got down from the plane, we entered the airport. We had to, you know, um, take a train. I had to take a train to where my boarding gate actually was. So you have to check your um, boarding pass. You have your boarding gates written on it, and you have to make sure that you get to your boarding gate. So there's actually a train inside. Like the Frankfurt airport was so beautiful. Like that's like the most beautiful airport I've ever seen. I've not really seen so many airports, so many international airports, but I don't think. I don't know i don't know what more you can do because frankfurt airport was like really nice or like really really nice so um enter the train to the boarding gate so yeah you have to pass through security pass through you know check your stuff and then get to your boarding gate and then wait there till it's time for you to take off so the layover time guys was seven hours like i had to literally be at the airport for seven hours and it was no joke it wasn't a joke at all and then god you guys i could not eat the food at frankfurt airport like there was no food i, I could actually eat there so i got i actually got <laughs> i got bay baguettes yeah that's how it's pronounced or baguettes baguettes sorry i think it's baguettes yeah so i got baguettes because i didn't know i like i saw a place that um a restaurant with people like literally queuing so i was like okay these people their food might actually be really nice because everybody's like queuing here and I'm like, okay let me queue here and actually buy food and i saw the menu i was googling the menu because i always want to google the menu and know what it is i'm eating and i saw baguettes and i was like okay everybody seems like seems like everybody here is eating this baguette i seem like my, it must be really nice right and then i said okay order baguettes i think it was like six dollars after i like, got the lady was like oh let me heat it up for you and i was like okay fine and then she put it inside something that looks like a toaster she gave it back to me please tell me why this thing that somebody said <laughs> they heat up right it was still like very cold you guys the chicken inside was so cold and then like the bread thingy outside was like really really cold like everything was just so cold i could not i could not even eat it i was like oh god okay that at least i'm going inside the plane now where they'll serve me good food because i mean coming from nigeria to frankfurt the food was actually nice right it was yeah you guys saw it so it was like really nice and i was like okay i'm going to get something really nice going to uh vancouver and mind you it is a 10 hour flight so i had to like sit down on that plane for 10 hours guys and obviously i did not have not yet had anything to eat i was in frankfurt for seven good hours and i could only eat chocolate yeah i don't know if i mentioned it already so i went to duty free to get chocolate and yeah so I got that i could only eat chocolate and then i got like it like, like one bottle of sprite i could barely even drink it so after um i bought we boarded like the plane it was time for them to actually bring food like i sat down a bit and then i was like okay they're going to bring food and then they brought this first meal and it was actually smelling nice you guys i was like ah, oh, finally something hot and nice because it was smelling really nice and then i brought it and i opened it you guys are going to i'm going to put the video here so you guys are going to actually see it so i was not so sure what this was and then i asked somebody beside me and i asked it and i was like hi that i've actually never had this that do you know what this is um or how how like <laughs> I can actually eat it because like they brought 
<laughs> there's this um, vegetable thing that looks like it was for like just like grass i don't even know what, what to call it vegetable it looks like grass i was like are we good we're not good now and then there was like cake and then the pasta thing and then i asked her she's like oh yeah i've never had it too um but it looks like there's um pasta in it and then a little bit of chicken and then um some I was like, eh, it was looking like sacrifice. I was like, okay, maybe it tastes better than it looks. Because the way she like hyped it, I was like, okay, maybe it's nice. And then I took one spoon. <laughs> he was not giving. <laughs> I took the second spoon. He still wasn't giving. And then I was like, no, this thing is not it now. Like, it had no taste, you guys. No, it's not like it had no taste. It was bad tasting. Like, it was like... I don't even know how to explain it. There was no salt. There was no pepper. There was nothing inside this thing. And it was like creep. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't even want to remember that thing. And then I turned and I saw that this lady has actually finished. Like she has wiped her plates clean. Every other person on the plane had actually finished their food. Not every other person. Everybody that my eyes could see. Like they were eating this food. That they, had, they were like eating it. And it was... It was like... You people, I'm not the abnormal one here. Now, you cannot tell me that you are enjoying this food because it is bad. Like, it was very, very bad. <laughs> I saw ate the grass that I was not even complaining about that. We good. It's what I finally ate. And then the chocolate. And, oh, yeah, I got um, some cake slices from Nigeria before I left. So, I still had some of that in my bag. And that's what I ate. And then plus um, some chocolate that I still got from Duty Free. And then the grass. And then water and juice so they were giving trying to give me one cup of water like when they pass i just gave them my bottle so if you should help me feel it thank you because i did not eat your food let me drink water <laughs> so yeah um so that was i was like god if like i can't eat this first food on this 10 hour flight i was even thinking they're going to give us three meals because that's part 10 hour flight the six hour flights we were giving two meals so I was like we're 10 hour flight maybe we're going to give you three meals but we're still we're still giving two meals actually and then they brought the second meal after a very long time guys and it was bread bread it was like sandwich actually bread and something inside but this thing was still cold i was wondering like do these people have beef with hot food because why is everything cold like i was just <laughs> i was over it i was like nah and then i started feeling like maybe that's how Canadian food is going to be like too always cold. Like I was already feeling so worried and like how am I going to actually survive? So yeah, and then ten hours was actually over. Like throughout the ten hours, I was looking through the window, like looking out of the window, looking at the clouds. Like the view was so beautiful, guys. Like so so beautiful. Even if there's anything I really enjoyed on that flight was just the view. And then I was like checking the map thing to see how far we've gone and just see where we're passing. I just like seeing like the cities, names of cities and countries and all that. Yeah. And then we got to Canada. And like finally, right? We got to Canada. So yeah, um, we like um, got up on the plane, went through the airport. Guys, yes, so we finally arrived in Canada after the longest flight of my life. But when they really say 10 hours of flight, it's not been, it's actually not been, what this airport is giving. It's so cool. And then we got to a point where they ask you if you're like if you have if your Canada is just a stopover like you're going to another country or you're actually coming here to Vancouver like, they're like um, different stands or booths yeah where everybody goes to like do their own thing so there's no officer like there's nobody waiting for you to like uh, on like Nigeria where we had to like, go to immigration and turn print they'll get your um, passport and check and check None of that here actually. Um, there were stalls, sorry, not stalls, stands. Yeah. So when there, um, I scanned my passport, did the fingerprint on it, took it took my picture, asked some certain question, do you have cash? How much cash do you have? Do you have um raw food with you? Like like this is just so easy. Like everybody was just going to their own stand to do your own thing, scan your passport. Like you're not waiting for anybody to scan your passport for you or to come and do your fingerprint and be pressing. No, just ah. 
see when you see when you see place that is good you know that we are really we are really suffering like good life everything just chilled it's just smooth anyways after that the next thing was to like went on another q and i went to customs so at customs they're going to ask you oh what are you doing in canada um why are you in canada how long do you plan on staying yeah stuff like that and you check your passport and after that oh your arrive can also oh i forgot to talk about arrive can so arrive can they would ask you from everywhere the first um from nigerian airports as soon as you're going to canada they've checked your at your um airline they will ask you where's your arrive can you show them at the um, transit in frankfurt when we're entering canadian um when we're entering the plane to canada where's your arrive can show them then at um what's it called canada arrive can i think at the stand that's where we showed arrive can was it at the stand or at customs i can't remember but yeah you shall still have to show arrive can so you have to do arrive can like three days or two days before your departure date yeah make sure that you're vaccinated just upload the proof of uh, proof of vaccination and that's it so um they ask what are you here for and just tell them and after that baggage claim get your baggage and then the next thing the most important of all see all these travel this is like the most important part immigration so from nigeria you've been given your visa by the way, student visa, work visa, PR, if you need your visa, but it's not your permit. So your visa only says, oh yeah, you can travel there, but it will not allow you to enter inside Canada. So you have to go to the immigration and then they have to issue you your permit. So they're basically going to ask you questions again. It might not be so serious. Some people might not have joy and ask you serious questions. Some people might just be like, oh yeah, let me just see your document and then they give it to you. So that's where, after they give you your permit, that's where you know that yes, you are now in Canada. So if you don't satisfy the immigration officer, you guys, you can actually still be sent back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So if you with your visa and you go there, they ask a the question, you know, they'll just send it back. So that's where you should be praying that after I've got the visa, you already enter plane to satisfy your immigration officer. If not, you go back to Nigeria. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got to ask some people different questions. Um, how much money do you have with you? Uh, plus for students, do you have enough money to take care of yourself? Um, so they will basically take your, there's a letter of introduction. That's what they're actually going to take from you first before everybody start calling everybody to the different, different officers will call you and just interview you. It might not be really a strong interview or something. After I was on immigration, got my permits, ordered uber so because i already secured housing before getting here so ordered uber to the housing and to like the house guys when i got out of the airport like immediately i just went out stepped outside the airport like this the cold that hits me like <laughs> the breeze the breeze was like ac cold so like i know that there's cold right in nigeria we have cold right like we're cold like you can be cold in nigeria but like i did not expect that it will feel like you're yeah, actually there is like air condition on the road <laughs> like it was so shocking to me I'm like wow <laughs> anyways enter inside the uber you guys this uber guy i was i was like oh this guy put on ac because it's cold here but then i looked at his window i was like where's this window down like it was like halfway down i just not realize that his window is down put on the ac too low and then i asked i was like is your ac on and then he thought i meant he should turn on his ac and then he was like, oh, no, 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 he wanted to, I was like, wait, wait, <laughs> hold up. So it's not AC that was that. That was actually a breeze from outside. I was cold like that. <laughs> I told him that I'm cold though. And then he like took the window up a bit. And I got to my house, entered inside house and voila, I was, you know, I just had this peace of mind that like, yes, I'm out of Nigeria. I'm actually inside Canada. I've gotten my permit because I was like kind of worried about that. Like, okay, I've gotten visa. What if you don't give me permit? What if I get it? They'll stop me by. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm here, guys. Your girl is here. She's a Canadian. I'm a Canadian YouTuber based. Okay, no, I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Canada. Oh, I'm a Nigerian Canadian YouTuber based in Canada. <laughs> Anywho, anyways, you, should, you guys shall get the drill. So I'm going to do a house tour video for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to do a house tour video for you guys to just show you guys around the apartment. It's really beautiful. It's like really beautiful and the view is mad. It is 
crazy so yeah i'm going to show you guys um do a tour for you guys and just you know show you guys hopefully i'll be able to make videos and show you guys how i'm settling in you know a week in my life a day in my life just yeah i'm going to try to post more videos well, that's all for today that's all for this video see you guys really really soon make sure to drop your comment if you have any questions for me or you want me to have any video that you would like me to uh you have any questions for me or you want you have any video that you want me to like share you can just leave it in the comment section leave your comments uh like this video subscribe if you have not subscribed to this video um to my channel sorry subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel yeah i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye